Good morning, Jaw. What's up, dude? I just got the shower. I'm ready to rock. How about uh, how about we go to the park? You want to go to the park? You do? Do you want to go with me to the park? Let's do it. Days with Jordan the Lion and this Joker begins now. Well, good morning, Lionhearts. How are you guys today? We have made it out to the park and it's gonna be a hectic day because for the next couple of days, I pretty much have to run errands. Um, I am gonna do, you know, the field trip part of our vlogs, but I'm gonna have to, in the midst of all those, go to the bank and transfer money to another bank account. I have to get some last minute stuff and record a video for the Patreons. I'd love to scratch this little Ray-Ban thing out of there. I always feel like there's dust up there. So, I'm just gonna be running errands and probably taking you guys along with me. But, like I said, you will get historical vlogs, you will get what you come for here. And I just wanted to let you know that we we're gonna be running some errands and kinda packing. I gotta clean the place because I have a friend that's gonna be staying at my apartment while I'm gone. I figured, like, I have so many friends that are always talking about wanting to come out here. I was like, why not just offer the place to somebody who would want a vacation and a place to stay for two weeks. So, clean up the place for him and, uh, yeah, just uh, getting things done. I can't wait. This is going to be a great trip. And look at the beautiful skies. Man, it is gorgeous out here today. I think what we're going to do today is we're going to go to a place that Charles Manson used to hang out. And we're going to get a burger. I don't know. It's called the Munch Box in Chatsworth. It's a pretty historic place. And I'm actually waiting to hear back on one of the tours that I booked because I ran into a little bit of an issue. It's a two person minimum for the tour and I'm traveling alone for part of the, uh, the stopover that I'm making. So they were like, you know, we'll, we'll basically hold a reservation for you and we'll let you know if somebody else books it and then you'll have the, so I'm like two or three days away from that, but I want to like contact them and just find out if they found anybody. But my other tour that I have booked is like a for sure. Puppy play time. You know, it really is going to be pretty strange vlogging from a different country for two weeks. I mean, I'm in a certain level of comfort here where I know my way around and can pronounce everything and None of that will really be the case over there. All the cities I go to, I'll probably mispronounce their names. I'll have to really do some studying and some homework to learn their stories. They're not things that I've known for 10 years that I'm able to tell you about. So it ought to be pretty in interesting. I mean, it's a, actually what I want to do in the future. I would love to get the uh, channel to a point where once a month or Somewhere around there I can head out of the country for a few days and do filming or just to different states, different cities. This will actually be one of the few times they say this because like when I'm in Hollywood, I already have a long, long list of things that I want to see and things that I want to vlog. So I generally will look at suggestions, but I already kind of know what I'm going to do for like the next couple of months. But in this case in Sweden, there might be places that you might research or you might stumble upon in the area or the island that I'm at. Tell me what it is that you found. I have a big book on the history of uh, Visby, so I'm gonna know quite a bit of it and uh, I'll probably be able to do them. All right, well, I need to pop in here for a few things, make it easy on myself. Well, I just got a chunk of the errands done in one whack. Two of the main things I needed were quarters to do some laundry before I go and some stamps to mail out a few last minute letters and cards and things that I'm gonna shoot out before I head out of the country and then of course power bars. Now, I think we're gonna take off to Chatsworth. Well, today I'm gonna to show you guys a little uh, valley landmark that I've been told about quite a few times. And uh, if you remember when I went to the Valley Relics Museum, the guy who ran that place was telling me, he's like, you should go over and check out the Munchbox. It's like a real staple of the valley. And uh, 
something tells me that if this place would have ever been shut down, that that guy would have been over here to grab this sign right away. But he uh, he told me that it was made a historic landmark, and he said it's been here since like 1956, and it's just been that place that everybody has went to. But he said it has a an interesting little story attached to it. Also, he said that. Um, he said it was known for being a place that in 1969, Charles Manson used to come and eat here and get uh, root beer floats. While he was waiting for Sadie to get off work because Sadie worked right over here at the Candy Cat One. If you remember Sexy Sadie. That was a strip club right there. And he used to, well, force her to work there. And he would stand over here waiting at the munch box, right here on Devonshire, waiting for her to get off work. And like I said, he would sit here and drink root beer floats. They said that there was also, there used to be right across the street, a supermarket called Gateway. And uh, they said that what he would do is, as soon as the girls or anybody that he was forcing to work over here at the Candy Cat, they said what he would do is he would make the girls go over to Gateway afterward and dumpster dive for anything that they could take back to the ranch. Makes sense. I mean, what a nice guy, huh? So I'm thinking I'm going to try some of the food here. They're known for like their burgers and that kind of stuff. But uh, it's kind of weird to look at this place and just think that at one point, sitting out on one of those stools, you would have seen that was going to eventually be responsible for being known for some of the most notorious murders in Los Angeles history. So let's go take a closer look here, huh? Pretty simple menu. I do enjoy that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sit right here in these stools right here because I feel like if I were Charles Manson, that's probably where I would have been sitting, watching, waiting for these girls to leave so they couldn't escape if they ever were gonna try. Now what I do kind of find funny is, uh, you guys, can you help but notice that over there where the candy cat is, there have been like four cop cars parked there the whole time. I went ahead and ordered their hickory burger. I did the move of uh, asking the people that worked here what's the most popular. Well, that's what I got, the hickory burger. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it was actually really good. Now at one point, somebody did actually threaten to get this place removed and demolish it because as you can tell, pretty much everything around here is now uh, kind of commercial uh, mini mall type places and the, actually the residents of Chatsworth stepped out and complained and fought for it and got this place saved so it's now here and uh, let's go ahead and take a walk over to uh, show you what the candy cat looks like that'll tie into our Charles Manson vlog here and you can at least see what the front of where sexy Sadie would have worked was well there it is a little bit closer view of it. I don't really want to go hang out in front of a strip club, but the fact that this has been here since the 60s when she worked here just goes to show you that I guess people will always love seeing naked women. Thought I'd make one last trip to the Goodwill before I take off, see if there's anything I need. I saw this, but I'm not gonna get it, but still it's pretty cool. Okay, let's see if we have any luck today. If you needed a juicer, they have one here. And I'm not going to get this, but I thought this was kind of funny. The Dr. Freud's therapy ball. I am, however, going to get this. $1.99. Guide to Europe. Alright, now i got to pull some money out of here and put it in my other bank. Well, we're back taking this guy for a walk. And 
Sorry the footage from Munchbox was a little bit odd today, guys. You guys have grown accustomed to the wide angle lens and I had actually swapped lenses last night to take pictures of something and I forgot I did it. And then when I got out to the, um, when I got out to the munch box and took my screen cap off, my lens cap, I, um, I was like, oh man, I have the old lens. So I just had to do the vlog with the old lens. So if you did notice the difference in the video, if it was a little more shaky than usual and you were like, oh, this is weird, then you'll know why I appreciate the new lens so much more. You know, it, it makes, I mean, I can tell a big difference. Well, in an unexpected turn, I sold something pretty big on eBay today. So now I gotta go ship that out. All right, I'm heading out to mail out the package and... Yep, I hear ya. Off to the post office we will go. Doggone it, wouldn't you know it? The moment I mailed out that package and got home and laid down to take a nap, I got an eBay notification that I sold another baseball. And so now I'm gonna have to go back to the post office in the morning and mail out another package. I'm not complaining. I just have a really busy day tomorrow now because Michael, his flight got delayed or his flight got changed somehow this morning. Instead of leaving at 2 p.m. this afternoon, he ended up leaving at 4.30 a.m. and left like four things at his house that he needs. So I have to drive out to Topanga Canyon tomorrow and pick up those things, then drive back here and then take this joker to Orange County where he's gonna be staying for the next couple of weeks. It's gonna be a busy day tomorrow. Well, good evening, Lionhearts. I just wanted to thank my two new Patreons, Francine Longscott and Betty Sue Knapp for becoming Patreons. I appreciate it. And thank you for every day coming along the journeys with me that I uh, decide to take you guys on. I try and make it a little bit different every day and I try and make it something exciting. And today was the Munchbox. I had seen a long time ago Huel Hauser there and it was funny when I was at the Valley Relics Museum that day and the guy that was curating it was telling me all the stories about it. And I remember going, that sounds like that place that Huel Hauser went that time. So when we went to do Pink's this week, it just popped into my head. I was like, you know what? I kind of want to go see the Munchbox too. I remembered him telling me those stories and I just thought, you know what? I'd love to go see another little like slice of Americana roadside eatery. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and the little tie-in to Charles Manson. Have a great night, Lionhearts. I'll see you all tomorrow with another hopefully fascinating vlog. And I love you all. Have a great night. Good night. You are